So I think the title of this article pretty much sums up what we're going to be talking about today. Pastor accused of $3 million crypto scam says he may have misheard God. Oh, my no, man, what makes you say that? What makes you think God wouldn't want you to do a rug pull on your congregation? That's crazy. This story's been in the news the past couple weeks. I'm only a little bit familiar with the details, so I had my elite team of content supervisors, uh, which is just one guy, his name is Robert, go through and find me all of the necessary information so I can fully understand this story and relay it to you. Everybody say, thank you, Robert. Now everybody say, thank you, Danny. Now everybody say, love you, Danny. And now let's get into it. An online pastor was charged with civil fraud for selling a cryptocurrency that regulators described as practically worthless. His explanation? God told him to do it. Although it's possible he misheard. It's interesting that he's only saying that he might have misheard now that he's being called out for it. He got caught and now he's like, well, yeah, I might have misheard. Something tells me in the initial stages of this scheme, he wasn't going around telling people like, now I might have misheard God, but I'm pretty sure he wants you to buy this cryptocurrency. God's been really into the blockchain lately. He thinks it's the future. I like that the regulators described it as practically worthless. It's not completely worthless, but it's it's pretty much worthless. Well, it's kind of fun to buy, I guess. You know, it's fun to get involved in a little project, setting up your crypto wallet and everything. But for all intents and purposes, this will make you broke. This is a horrible decision to buy. Little fun though. Colorado Securities Commissioner filed a legal complaint against Eligio, Eligio Re, Rigaldo, Eligio Rigaldo, who goes by Eli, oh thank God, and his wife Caitlin Rigaldo last week. The couple raised nearly $3.2 million by targeting Denver's Christian community with the cryptocurrency marked as Index Coin. The complaint said, sorry, you're not even going to like give it a Christian name in index index in dicks. You put these crypto coins in dicks. You should have called it God coin or something, something creative tithe coin. Maybe I don't know. Investigators accused the couple of violating Colorado's anti-fraud licensing and registration laws. They alleged the cryptocurrency was promoted as low risk, high profit investment while it was actually illiquid and practically useless. Well, hold on now. Maybe he didn't say who it was high profit profit for. It was high profit. It was just for him. Wait, high profit. Are you sure he didn't mean high profit? And Jake on the screen, can you spell profit with a PH like the biblical type of profit? And then you can also keep me explaining this part of the joke in that way. If anyone's listening to this and not watching, they can still get the joke that I made. Thank you. Look, I said it was a low risk investment and I am a high profit. I was high when I heard this from God. That's why I might have misheard it. Cryptocurrency is usually able to be converted into cash or other currencies through a digital platform or trading exchange. The Lord said, I want you to build this. Rigaldo said, we took God at his word and sold the cryptocurrency with no clear exit. From this quote, like, if this is an exact quote, I'm having trouble seeing how you might have misheard him. He seems completely clear. He either said, I want you to build this cryptocurrency or love thy neighbor. I can't remember exactly which one it was. It was one of those two though. Again, I'm super hot. Then he says, we took God at his word and sold the cryptocurrency with no clear exit. Now it sounds like he's calling God a liar. Look, I'll say it guys, it's our fault. Our fault we trusted God. We allege that Mr. Regalado took advantage of the trust and faith of his own Christian community and that he peddled outlandish promises of wealth to them when he sold them essentially worthless cryptocurrencies. I don't think I've ever been to church and my pastor started preaching about outlandish promises of wealth. I feel like if your pastor starts saying stuff like that, there's definitely a problem. That being said, uh, the pastor totally abused his privilege and his trust that his congregation had in him. That's insane, dude. This is someone that's supposed to be like a spiritual guide to these people. And you know what? To be fair, they might be praying a lot more after this has happened to them, but I don't... Still don't really think it was right. The couple sold the digital asset to more than 300 investors between June 2022 and April 2023. 300 investors. They made $3 million? Wait, what? How does that add up? How much were these people investing, dude? 3 million divided by 300. So on average, members of his congregation spent $10,000 on this? They got 300 people to spend on average $10,000 on this cryptocurrency. Dude, that's insane. Oh my God, that's messed up. 
I hate to say it, man. I think you misheard God. Either I misheard God and every one of you who prayed and came in, you as well. No, wait, hold on. They didn't mishear anything. They heard you. He's saying either I misheard God and so did all of you. I mean, we all did, right? <laughs> They're all like, no, you said it. We heard you. You were supposed to be telling us what he said. Or two, God is still not done with this project. Uh, I unfortunately am. I have already sold all of my cryptocurrency and yours is now worthless. But you know, you guys might still have something going on. I don't really know. I not involved anymore. Okay, now it looks like we've got some kind of video apology, maybe? I think this is the pastor here. So this update is to really just take some things head on. I'm not reading from a script and I didn't prepare any notes like I normally do. Yeah, you should 100% be reading from a script, dude. You really fucked up. You should have written something down. Do not freestyle this, man. Also, you know, beautiful house behind you. Beautiful view. I actually, I can't tell if this is real. Is he green screened into this or is this his real house? It kind of looks like it might be green screen and then I'm wondering like, is his house even nicer than this? Like this is what he green screened himself into to make it seem like he's not living a lavish lifestyle. What is his actual house? look like it's just heaven Caitlin and I are being charged in a civil charge for basically selling millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency that is deemed worthless by the state I think it's probably also being deemed worthless by like the value of the cryptocurrency. I'm assuming that this guy like made all of his followers buy it and then he sold it so that it's now completely worthless. So I would have to guess that it's not just like the regulator's opinion. There's like an objective value to cryptocurrency. Any cryptocurrency, you can look at what the value is. It's not like it's subjective. It's not like they're telling you that your hairstyle is worthless or something. That would be messed up. There is no exit for people who have bought so everyone that's watching this, who has put money into this, who wanted to take money out, you've been unable to do that. How did he exit then? I don't know how cryptocurrency enough works to have a very detailed analysis of this, but how did he make money from it then? If no one else can sell it, I guess he figured out some way. The charges are that Caitlin and I pocketed $1.3 million. And I just want to come out and say that those uh, charges are true. So there's been $1.3 million that's been taken out of, I think it was a total of 3.4 million. So you exited. So what is all this about no exit? There is no exit. You just said you sold it. You exited. Tell everyone else how to do that. I hope that um, in this video, I'm not coming across as like bashing Christianity or anything. I think that his congregation was totally swindled by this guy. This could have happened in any religion, probably. This guy is just a con artist. So how this whole thing started is the Lord told us uh, in 21, to walk away from our marketing company. And then he took us into this cryptocurrency. Well, that cryptocurrency turned out to be a scam. That's so crazy to uh, describe something that you made turning out to be a scam. Like we had no idea. He's describing the cryptocurrency as having like a mind of its own. It double crossed us, this, this dirty coin. It's like you made it. It's like painting a picture of the moon and then being like, oh, the picture turned out to be a moon. We didn't realize it until we were done. I was looking at the moon, I was painting it, and then all of a sudden the picture turned out to be a moon. And so the people who bought this, they were already basically forexed, leveraged on this. And so the Lord says, give that to them, but also give them a 10X. And I'm like, well, where's this liquidity gonna come from? And the Lord says, trust me. Sorry, was he in like a business conference room with God? Usually when you hear like the kind of wealth televangelist pastors talk about it, even they're not having like these in-depth conversations. They're just getting like signs and stuff. This guy was like writing code with God, which makes the claim that you misheard even wilder. Cause it's like you had this multi-day long development process. You were getting instructions the entire time. Time. And now you're like, well, uh, I guess I misheard all, all of them. They were all wrong. He was just talking about, he just, just, he just said I should go on vacation. Damn it. And we have records to prove all this. And then as we're sowing all this money. Why is he saying he sowed all of the money? We're sowing all this money. Is that to avoid using the word stole? Yeah, you know, your actions have consequences, man. You reap what you sow. You walk into a jewelry store, you hold up a gun, you sort of sow chaos in the store, and then you reap the diamonds. And so we sowed 100,000 of that. And then from that point forward, things really started escalating and we just continued. Basically, all I'm getting from this video is he's like completely admitting to everything. And his excuse, of course, is that God made him do it or told him to do it. But at the end of the day, he is just like, guys, I've been accused of a crime. So let me just defend myself by saying 
Uh, here's how I committed the crime. I did do it. There was a little old lady walking down the street, so I did walk up to her, and in my defense, I did push her down and take her bed. Now, that seems ugly, but let me be clear that I did also shoot her in the knees. Okay, so now we've got a LinkedIn profile for this company, Index Coin. The best of crypto with just one coin. Index Coin empowers you to participate in the best of crypto technology. Bing losing a ton of money, including Bitcoin, altcoins, NFTs, the metaverse, DeFi, and ETFs without becoming an overnight crypto expert. Okay, but to be clear, we're not participating in any of these, right? It's just index coin. You get to participate in Bitcoin, NFTs, the metaverse, without having to participate in all of that Bitcoin, NFTs, the metaverse. Damn, there are no jobs available at Index Coin right now. That sucks. I was gonna apply, I heard the salary is really good. And then here are the two scammers listed as the two only employees here. The wife, her bio is Jesus family and business and the husband's is Jesus people and business. Dude, if I was his wife, I'd be so pissed off about that bio. Who's people? Am I people? You just love everybody the same, huh? Everybody's people? Where am I on the list? Where am I? And then they've also got a website, indexcoin.com. It's crazy that all of this is still up and running. Like he's being investigated for it. He actively admitted that it turned out to be a scam against his own will. But the website's still up. Can I still buy index coin? Oh, buy now. Oh, um, okay. You can't buy it anymore. Proofed by hacking? What does that mean? Is this who made it? Hacking? You cannot buy a cryptocurrency <laughs> made by a company called Hacking. Yeah, we're called Hacking because we're going to hack into your computer and steal all your information. You should have known it was in the name. We named our company. We're going to hack you. A coin that will transform the world and you along with it. Join a community, access courses, enjoy content, and create wealth. I gotta say, there's no like religious messaging in this website anywhere that, that I can find. Let me, let me see if I can control F God real quick. No, no God or Jesus anywhere on this website. You could at least credit the guy that came up with it, dude. Dang. Okay, this video is called Index Update from June of 2023. So this seems to be while the scam was going on. He's giving a little update. Let's see. Good morning, Index Coin. Good evening, Index Coin. Wherever you guys are calling in from. Where are you calling in from? Just out of curiosity. You're in front of a green screen again. Does he have like an actual church or is it like an online only church and he's always in front of a green screen? Because I know those do exist too. Show us your house, man. Maybe this is before he stole all the money. He really did have to use the green screen back then because his house was small. Now he has to use it to make his house seem small. Is he using the green screen because he's like already on the run from something else? Some previous con? Don't mind the green screen behind me guys. I actually am in the witness protection program. A lot of people want to find me and a lot of people want to hurt me. <laughs> I have torn multiple families apart. When, wherever you guys are calling in from, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good night. He just goes to sleep. Good morning, good afternoon, and uh, Fuck it. Good night. For us, we've been looking at this as we've been building out Index Coin, getting ready. Uh, we got our license, which everyone thought was impossible. They got their cryptocurrency selling license, which nobody thought they could do. Why do I not believe that? I feel like that's super easy to do. Countless influencers have started cryptocurrencies, dude. I don't think it's that hard. We're waiting for liquidity. We're waiting for people to basically come in and buy so that people can kind of come out uh, and sell. Uh, everyone's going to get rich, right? That's what he's saying. And right now he's saying all these people have bought in. We're just waiting for more people to buy that way you guys can all sell and me too we're all gonna sell once more people buy so it's kind of sounding like he might not have even anticipated this being a rug pull that only benefited him he might have been trying to make a ponzi scheme you know where the first people make profit because you give them the next people's money and it just keeps going like that and of course eventually you're gonna run out of people and money but for a while it works but it sounds like it, the coin was so fucked up that it he couldn't even do like one round of Ponzi. He just like took everybody's money and then nobody could get out. And then he was like, shit, I gotta get out of here. So maybe he did intend for some people to make money off of this. I don't know. This is John 6 verses one through five. And it says, after these things, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee or Tiberias. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. This has nothing to do with cryptocurrency. I hate to say it. I don't think the people who wrote this part of the Bible even knew what index coin was, dog. Okay, so it looks like the latest update to the story was January 31st. Pastor charged with stealing millions seen in Zambia after missing hearing. 
Seen in Zambia. What is he, Bigfoot? <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, he's gone. Damn it, we still can't catch him. So he flew to Zambia so he didn't have to go to court? Denver pastor Eli Regalado facing civil fraud charges for allegedly selling millions in a bogus cryptocurrency scheme was seen in Zambia teaching about God and finance, probably mostly finance, at the Gifted Faith Ministry in the company's capital after missing a court hearing on Monday. Regalado's appearance at the church's Glory Shift Conference on multiple days this week comes after after he missed a Monday court hearing where a preliminary injunction and asset freeze were granted after he was accused of exploiting his religious influence to defraud investors. Oh yeah, here he is wearing the gray hoodie. Pastor Eli visits a church conference in Zambia after missing a court hearing in Colorado. Man, he got out of there fast. Everyone in this picture, you gotta run away from this guy, dude. He's gonna steal all of your money. All right, well, it seems like for now, that's where that story has ended. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye